I'm Edie Steiner. I'm a filmmaker and a photographer. Um, this particular body of work is a, a sequence of pinhole images. Um, I started working with pinholes um, as I began working with digital. As I started uh, recording on uh, digital media, um, I thought I was losing touch with some of the elements of unknowingness um, that one has with film, that sort of interval um, while one awaits the latent image. And um, so I was trying to recapture that a bit, and the first pinholes I did were shot on film. Um, I had a converted camera. Uh, with, it was an old bellows uh, medium format camera that took 120 film and it um, would record a number of images on a roll. Um, and, um, and then I discovered that you could do these pinholes digitally and I ordered a device, uh, a cap that is dust free and um, you know would allow the same practice and at first I really didn't like them very much. I found them very flat. Um, compared to the, the ones recorded on film, which had a longer exposure time, so there was more life happening during that uh, particular time interval. Um, but gradually I, I learned which kinds of images would work uh, with the uh, digital pinholes. And um, I decided to focus at first on water images, meanings of water and water bodies because that tended to work well with the, um, with the kind of diffused quality of the pinhole image. Um, I tend to work a lot with ideas of memory and place, meanings of place and um, sort of sensations of memory, recorded memory, and I suppose uh, when I'm photographing it in a place, often they are, I return to um, geographies of my childhood or sort of lived environments in different times in my life, um, particularly northern Ontario. And I um, suppose I'm in a way recapturing some of that experience of having lived there previously. Uh, um, this image here was recorded in Portugal in Lisbon last November. I was um, in Portugal for a conference and I felt I wanted to sort of find something there that would relate to my uh, current body of work. Um, and I, it was a long way to go um, to not try to do some you know, work of my own while I was there. Um, this one was in um, the Thousand Islands. I was there um, visiting a family member and we just had this amazing sky which reminded me of you know, the early romantic kind of images, the turners and so on. Um, and I, uh, and there was the water. The one behind me is what I would call the lake of my formative years, um, Lake Manitowage in a small northern Ontario town called Manitowage. And this lake has a lot of sort of resonant meaning for me, meanings of place and kind of personal geographies. And the final one, again, I was um, intrigued by the reflection in the water of the kayaks and the, um, the lily pads, and it was also in the Thousand Islands. And there it was just a more kind of expressionist sort of shape and form that attracted me to that image. Mm -hmm. 